Valentine's Day is just around the corner and what better way to celebrate your love than by reliving your wedding day by looking at a video of the event, right? Well, for one couple, there was no such luck. Rubina Ahmed has their story. The wedding is the most important day of your life and not, to think that you're not going to get on videotape has a lot of serious side effects. I mean, you just have problems concentrating at work. Um, Anju was kind of getting short anxiety attacks and getting worried about it. Parrish and Anju Mystery spent close to two and a half years worrying. They were upset at the videographer they had hired to shoot their wedding. The video he produced from their nuptials in 1999 did not live up to their expectations. There were uh, blank spots at certain points. Um, there was no music at certain points. Um, when he went from scene to scene, it was basically a cut from one scene to another scene. There was no fading. <laughs> they had been promised a video of high standards with special effects and professional editing. What they got was very different. It was just not edited at all. Like, you could probably put together in a high school audiovisual lab. Mm -hmm. Honestly, that's mm -hmm. how bad it was. Um, you know, there was clips from other people's other vi videos in there. I mean, it was obvious that they didn't put any effort into yeah. the tape. Parish, why don't you get the plates or something? They took the company to court, and the judge ruled in their favor. We should get back our raw footage so that we can go to, and some monies, of, of course, so we can go to a professional videographer mm -hmm. and get um, our wedding day captured on video. Your wedding day is one of the most memorable days of your life. Capturing those memorable moments on camera is often a priority to most couples. To make sure that you have the right person behind that video lens on your wedding day, we went right to the professionals. Everyone to this wonderful evening. Let's give another round of applause to Sateena and Harry. You guys look gorgeous. Surinder Singh has been shooting weddings for 25 years. He says bride and grooms-to-be need to keep certain things in mind when they go shopping for a videographer. Before they go to anybody, they should always ask, uh, give me a few names of the people who have done the wedding. Mm -hmm. Check those people, phone them and ask them, what do you think of this guy? Singh warns that there are a lot of unprofessional people in his business that give good videographers a bad name. I would say 60%. They don't know what they're doing. They don't take pride in the job. They want to do it and get paid, and that's it. They don't want to see your face again. A good wedding video can't be produced overnight. It should take close to 100 hours to put together. So when looking for a good videographer, remember the following things. Shop around. Remember, you always get what you pay for. A price that is too good to be true is probably just that. Get references. Get everything in writing and make sure you see a complete example of their work. Not just clips of the beginning of the introduction or the park scene or your first dance, because those are usually the three aspects that a lot of the videographers do do editing on. The company that shot the mystery's wedding refused to appear on camera and said they had no comment. Rubina Ahmed for South Asian Newsweek.